my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my two year of trying to conceive our first baby update. I can't believe it has been a full two years. I still remember sitting here making my one year update and nothing's changed since then. Although we have got a few more tests done and a few more things have came through and everything's worked out fine. But it just feels like I can't believe how fast this year has went, it's unbelievable. But yeah, if you've been following my journey, you will know that me and Matthew got married in November in 2016. And in December of 2016, we decided to stop my pill, all that kind of stuff. And we decided to start trying for our first baby. It's not been as easy as what we had hoped it'd be. And especially like when you're just newly married and you want everything to work out, like everyone just assumes that the baby's the next thing that you're gonna happen. And it's not always easy for everyone and it's not been easy for us. Although like when the th people around you are having babies, you just feel happy for them because that's their little family. Like my sister had a baby, like she found out she was pregnant like not long after my wedding and now like my uncle's having a baby oh that not my actual uncle you know what I mean but like he's having a baby this year and it's so crazy like everything's just happening all the time but you can't help that but everyone just assumes that having a baby is so easy for everyone but it's not it's not and people have to go through treatment and people have to go through everything like there's so much that you have to go through and I don't think people really understand what you have to go through when you're trying to have like an, a natural baby anyway like I mean we are, go we are on the list for IUI and it's something that I never ever really thought that would have to happen but at least it's not IVF for now we're hoping that it doesn't get to that but it is still artificial insemination so Matthew will go in in the afternoon and I'll go in after him and they'll basically inseminate me with his sperm so we'll see how that all works out if you've had it done can you please let me know what it's like and if you were successful I would love to know although if you I do message I'll probably watch your channel and see if you have a little family but um yeah I think it's nothing that we would ever expect to have happened we never really thought that it would get to two years of having nothing people just assume that when you get married as I say like you're going to have a baby straight away and I I made a Instagram for our, our channel and I put things on there because that's like a little blog thing for me this is like just me sitting here chit chatting to everyone but it's a little vlog thing like blog thing that I can just put on and I can express how I feel that day or I can um just put little pictures up and like you guys know how I feel but like there's been a there's a picture on it that's a pregnancy test and it says not pregnant on it and above it it says people ask when are you going to have a baby and underneath it it says if only they knew how hard we were trying and I posted that on my personal Instagram and people never really knew that what me and Matthew had been going through I never really shared a lot of my stuff to people that I know or to like my normal Instagram or Facebook all that kind of stuff no one really knows that much they know that we're trying for a baby but I don't think they really know the backstory of everything and when I do finally get pregnant I'm going to share this channel with them just so that they know that I've not been holding everything in and I actually sit here and chit chat to everyone and let everyone know but yeah when I put that kind of thing up no one really understood what we had went through they never really knew they knew that we started going to hospital appointments like a few months ago because I would start tagging as in like in the hospital and like writing fertility appointments under it and people would realize that it's to do with babies and that it wasn't easy for us and I want people to know like that's not easy it's not easy to just sit here and like make out that everything's fine when it's not fine everything isn't fine every month like there's some months where you know fine well you're not going to be pregnant but there's some months where you could get that little glimmer of hope and you're like am I pregnant and then you take a test and then a couple of days later your your period comes and you're just down again but it's it's that disappointment every month that kind of gets to everyone and I think people don't realize when you want something that bad that like that just hurts you deep down like it just makes you so sad so yeah I think that this kind of thing for me is like therapy because I get to meet loads of new people and chit chat to them and ask them questions and like on my Instagram I ask questions on there and people will answer so it's a good little thing and it's a it's a huge community the fertility and infertility problems it's a huge community like you don't realize how many people are out there who have struggled and who can't have babies so for us this whole journey has been so long for us anyway there's people out there who have been trying for years and years and years like I know someone who's been trying for years much much longer than me and 
it's just that nothing works, nothing's getting them there and nothing, I feel like nothing was getting us there until we went to that last appointment and I found out that I can get artificial insemination and I was like, this is just like what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for someone just to give us that little boost and help us through everything. And I feel like now, like ever since we got that, I feel like I can actually just sit and enjoy trying to get pregnant or not having to worry about, oh, the doctors are just giving me these tablets that are not working any month now. Like you, the letrozole tablets helped. Like I knew they were helping and I could feel them working. Like every month I would know I was ovulating because I could feel it and I knew, I knew straight away. Like I'd never felt that feeling before. But roughly when I should have been ovulating, I knew I was ovulating. So I was like, I know they're working. But when I went to the last appointment and they said to me, do you want to continue? And I was like, you know what? No, I don't want to continue because I felt like they were just pointless after a while. Like, and having to remember to take a tablet every day for five days after one day of bleeding is so hard. So, so hard. Like, there'd be days where I'd be like, I need to remember to take my tablet. And then I'd be like, oh no, I forgot to take my tablet, so I need to take my tablet. And then the next day you'd be sitting again and you'd be going, oh, to go take my tablet so it's it's obviously if you want something that bad you should be remembering i'm just really bad especially after a long day at work i work long days so like when you're coming home from work all you want to do is get, get a shower get your dinner and go to bed so like it's the last thing on my mind and i really should have taken it in the morning but some nights i would forget so i'm kind of glad that that's a weight off my mind and i feel like that's what made me feel like like i can breathe i don't have to worry about taking those tablets every time i take a period or if I'm late in a period, I'm like, right, I need to wait till I've bled for a full day and then start taking them. It was so annoying. So, yeah, we're still going through everything. That's the whole point in this video. I'm still going through everything. I have, or I may not have, uploaded a pregnancy test video. Um, if I haven't, I will be uploading it after this. If I have, go watch it. I am still late. I, this is my eighth day of being late i have taken the test hence why the video is up um but yeah i will be taking another test if i don't bleed i have been a little bit crampy but if i don't bleed i will take a test maybe next week but nothing's coming up that's just so weird like before i had taken tests and it was my first serious pregnancy test that i'd ever taken like for on my channel and I had been 17 days late and then the next day I took my periods and it just really really hurt because I was like I had been 17 days late and nothing had happened so yeah it was a bit disappointing that that had happened but yeah I'm hoping that this time next year we'll have a little baby and I hope that everyone out there who is trying for a baby that you get your little Christmas miracle as well and that you get some good news or this time next year you have your little family like me and Matthew want so yeah, as I said, we are on Instagram now. I have it linked on our channel and I will link it down below just so you guys can click on that and follow us. I try my best to update it every day. If I don't, I'm either busy or at work. So I usually sit and do it at night time though. So I will be putting a post up when this video goes up and when the pregnancy test video goes up. Someone was asking me about the pregnancy test video so I will be putting a post up. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching my video guys and thanks for all your support and for everyone who's always been there. And I will try and update you guys a lot more often i know i've been slacking on the videos but i will try my best and um, so yeah if you like watching my videos please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to put your bell on and i will see you all very soon